Well, this sounds lovely. Your discretion is advised. <laughs> Do we actually get a... Okay, we do have a menu. So, <laughs> sorry about that intro, but I wanted to make sure that warning got in there. Hey y'all, my name is Danny Cobalt, and welcome to a, sh I think, I believe short, visual novel called Black. It's supposed to be really creepy. I don't know if it's actual horror, or if it's just kind of like a creep factor type of horror. But let's get in. I'm excited to see... Do I need to use my mouse? I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Am I just reacting to this guy here? Come closer or keep your distance. Hide or go away. Uh, do I have four options or just two? Keep my distance? What the? Oh, oh, oh! That full screen's it. That's actually really cool. Except now I messed everything up. Okay, <laughs> we're back. Um, hide. So I guess hide is... Is that going to quit the game? So hide? This could get very creepy, so beware. Oh, oh my gosh. Who are you? Um. Um. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if there's- I also know there's multiple endings to this game, so I don't know how severe the consequences are. Uh, let's- this one's italicized, oddly, so I'll kind of pick that one. Um, okay, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm, okay, w uh, Danny, see if we can make this as creepy as possible. What is a Danny? A woman? That would be me. I'm a woman. Can I use, uh, the arrow keys to scroll through this? Because I don't want my mouse on the screen. Are you going to ask what's a woman? Um, okay, nice, I can't use these. Where am I? Why are you just standing there blinking at me? Hello? Where is this place? I didn't realize I had to progress that. Here? Well, yeah! This place is here. Looks like some kind of dystopian rubble. Not very chatty, are you? You don't talk much to you. Exactly. That was creepy noise. You have a nice smell. Oh gosh. I'm glad I'm not playing this at night. I I really should go now. No. Stay. Come. Uh, go with him or no? What? Let, let, let's venture in. He doesn't seem too antagonistic. He's very creepy. Or, I guess it's very creepy. I have no idea what you are. What do you want from me? What is that? What is that? Is that a heart or some weird berry? Or I'm I'm not very hungry. But you you're saying that very forcefully. But I don't want to. No, I don't want to. We might actually go through this game a couple times. Okay, okay. Um, let's kind of just go along. We'll be very passive, and then we'll try. We'll. I don't know if we'll get through all the options. I, I might not go through all the options anyways, but, um, I might do another video of this if it takes a long time. Okay, let's eat it. I'm scared. I slide the meat away. It's warm. Blood feels gross and sticky in my hands. Uh, thank you? He's watching you expectantly. So it is a he. Ask what it is, cook it, leave it there, eat it raw. Um, ask what it is? What kind of meat is this? What do I know? Meat. I guess meat is meat. Um, 
Is he going to be enraged if we cook it? But l let's just try cooking it. Do you mind if I cook it? Then I'll start a fire, alright? Is he going to be scared? Oh, that's friendlier. The smell is funny, but I have to say, it's not bad. Eat it or offer it to the creature? Should we offer him some? Do you want to try it? Oh, I have to pick that? Come on, take a piece, it's good. What if it like poisons him now that it's cooked? I stick to the co cooked meat on it. No, not my tap ASMR. Ew. Gollum, is that you? Are you alright? <laughs> Um, I don't want to just say thing. Creature? Say something or are you dead? Um, let's just, let's try and be nice to it this time. Okay, he's alive. Hey, everything's okay? What happened? Raw better. What'd you say? I I saw I saw it the first time. Okay, the silence is eerie, but the creature seems to be willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Be kind or be aggressive. We're gonna be kind. It's a really nice place you have. A bit dark, but uh, nice. I guess. Aren't you cold? Do you want to come near the fire? Nope. <laughs> Are you afraid of the fire? Okay, I won't ask. Bit of a one-sided conversation here. There's a lot of pauses in here I have no capability to skip. What if I can skip through options once I get through it? Have you been living here for long? <laughs> you moved here recently? Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Be evasive or tell the truth? Uh, let's tell the truth. I don't know where. I don't remember. Something is wrong with my memory. The last thing I recall is waking up amidst the rubble. And you? Here. Here. This is your home? <laughs> How long have you been here? Long. Soon it'll get dark and cold. Where'd you go? I warm my hands with the flames. You're ugly. <laughs> thanks. Wow, so out of the blue. <laughs> um, thanks, I guess. <laughs> but not scary. There are scarier things out there. What are you doing? It's such a uh. Um Your head doesn't look big enough for those teeth. Is he Is he sharpening his nails or his teeth? Sharpening his spear? Does he have a spear? Oh yeah, he did have a spear. Oh, you're not going to eat me, are you? Sleep. You don't want to? You don't want to sleep? Um, hello? The creature is gone. Should I sleep? <clears throat> let, 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 let's sleep. I kind of want to run, but... I don't know if he's going to eat me or if he's actually friendly, but... The dark came really fast, but there's no way I'm sleeping. He's probably waiting in the shadow for me to lower my guard, and then... What? Kill me? Or... Eat me? I need to find him, enter the cave, better stay here. Um... I don't want to stay here, because it's kind of boring, but... But we actually have light here. Uh, okay, let's enter the cave. 
don't think that was a good idea. Fire. I can pull the logs and start to wave it around blindly. Sh show yourself! You coward! What do you want from me? A woman is good. Very, very good. Get away from me! He's... gone? What the? That's it. I need to find him. Coals are still hot. After blowing on them, the fire awakens once again. Your hands are shaking a little as you take up a log from the bonfire. And then you enter the darkness. No, I don't like this. I feel tense, like a live wire. My insides are twisting. It's so dark. <laughs> no. We're gonna be as kind and non-aggressive as we can in this one, and I think we'll do one more re run through that is as aggressive as we can. You won't scare me. You hear me? This ends now. Maybe I should have stayed there. There's a passage. What is that goop? Uh, lake? At least I know I won't die of thirst. I don't know if you want to drink that water. If I don't die of something else. I look around, but the darkness is too thick. There's pitter patter feet. Seems there's nothing here. I turn around, ready to enter the passage again, when suddenly. Uh, what happened? I see him. On the ground. Sleeping. Or pretending to. Did I walk right past him? I barely hold back the urge to vomit. He's monstrous. It's the ugliest, most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. Carefully. Ever so carefully. I take his spear. Now armed, I know what I must do. Maybe we should have stayed there. So I don't want to attack him. I don't want to make him mad. No, I'm not going to kill him. I'm not going to kill him. I look at him in the dark. He sleeps peacefully with a smile. Somewhat creepy, but he almost seems content. As ugly as this creature may be, he looks like a child. I hesitate, and he stirs in his sleeps. Sleeps? The light from the torch wakes him. He immediately widens his eyes and jumps back into the darkness, hissing. He, he's patting the ground frantically, searching for his spear. Don't even think about that. I have your weapon. I grip the spear tighter, my heart exploding in my chest. Now, give me a good reason not to kill you. he leave or come closer? He lunges at me. I brace for impact, but instead he runs past me into the tunnel. The tunnel leads me back to the bonfire. Wary, I scan my surroundings in search of him, ready to attack. Don't know what you're trying to do before, but I'm not scared of you. Understand? Come out. Look, I know you want to eat me, but it doesn't have to be that way. We don't have to be enemies. If you promise you won't attack me again, I'm willing to forget about it. We can start over. We can help each other. As a sign of my good intentions, I let the spear fall to the ground. Good. I don't want to attack him. It's risky, but it's the only way. That my stomach hurts. <laughs> Hi. What's your answer? I 
way my tummy aches. I've never eaten a dainty before. So maybe if I eat you, my belly won't hurt anymore. You don't need to eat me to get better. On the contrary, it will make you even sicker. No. I tried everything else. I always puke. You are the only thing left to try. And that's why you're sick. You probably have some kind of indigestion or stomach virus. Eating random things won't cure you. You need medicine. For how long have you been feeling like this? A couple of days. Couldn't you find someone to help you? There's no one to ask. There's never been anyone here. Never. Until you. I was thinking of eating you, it's true. But I didn't try to. Yet. What? Don't lie, I clearly saw you. And you just said there's no one else here. No one. Yes. S only them. Them? Mm. <laughs> Those things. What things? <laughs> they become your nightmares. Your fears. I don't know how they do it, but they do. They can even get in here if you are not careful. Wait. Are you trying to tell me that there are creatures here who enter your thoughts and materialize your fears? So it wasn't you who tried to kill me, and I'm just imagining it. Wherever there's light, they can show you scary things. Have you not noticed that? I scoff incredulous. All this situation seems too much observed, absurd and discordant to me. Then why didn't you let me go outside and let them kill me, if you were so afraid of me? I wanted to know you first. And now that you know me, what's the verdict? You seem nice. Mm. You could have let me know instead of being a jerk to me. I wasn't. Forcing me to follow you, not answering questions, Telling me I smell nice? Is that rude? You said it like you wanted to cook me and eat me as dessert. I shouldn't probably give my ideas. But you do. I smell a sweat and dirt. That's good. Well, compared to him, I might as well smell like a flowery meadow. But am I believing this? Um... Yeah, I, I kind of believe him. And I want to go along with him. Alright. Then, uh, what about the smile you gave me while sharpening your spear? My spear? I wasn't sharpening anything. He seems genuinely confused. Then what was that sound? He goes, sudden he goes suddenly quiet. He seems hesitant. Almost timid. He brings a closed fist to his chest. Then he looks at you, quickly lowering his gaze again. Something rolls and stops short in front of you. What's this? It's some kind of wrapping. I pick it up. Inside there's a strange black stone. They are afraid of this color. If you paint your face and clothes with it, they'll leave you alone. Didn't you want to eat me? As if the answer to that question is almost too much for him, he leaves before you can say something else. And leaves the spear behind. I'm left here alone. I examine the rock in my hand. It's some sort of charcoal that leaves a sticky black powder on my skin, turning it pitch black. I'm about to toss the wrapping aside when at the last moment... I realize that, it, that it's a paper, folded in two. Open it, opening it, I find something unexpected. 
a drawing. Sketched on it, in a clear, child fashion, are two figures, holding hands. The creature and I, oh, I'm so glad I didn't kill him. I look at the drawing in my hands, at the charcoal, and then outside. It's still dark, but soon the sun will rise. I'm going to stay with him. No, I'm not going to kill him. I step over the spear and go into the darkness. Does he have a name? Can we ask him his... Aww. I see him by a lake, crouched down with his feet dangling over the water. His arms around his belly, his back to me. Kid? He turns his eyes towards me. I extend my hand. He takes it. Aww. My memory is slowly starting to come back to me. I was a passenger on a ship, flying towards a new home. We crashed, and no one else seemed to have survived except me. The little guy confirmed it. Apparently he saw everything. He was investigating the wreckage when he found me. And now, I know I was lucky that he did. I tried asking him again where he comes from, or if we were on the same ship, but he can't answer me. He doesn't remember. The only thing I know is that he came here many years ago. I suspect he might have been born here, and has been living here ever since. Alone. I still don't know what, or who, caused the crash, or my temporary amnesia. I don't even know if someone will ever come to find me. Maybe. I hope. Excuse me, I'm burpy. But until then, I don't want to live my days in fear inside a cave. And neither does he. Sure, he's creepy. So much creepy that sometimes I wonder why I chose to stay. Aww. He had those teeth, for instance, and that rough, cracked, black skin with those luminescent eyes that in the dark looked really scary. But when he took my hand, lovingly, like a child to a parent, I knew by the feeling in my heart that I did the right thing. He just needed someone to guide him, to protect him, to love him. And that someone was me. Are you sure? Aren't you scared? No. Why would, should I? Why should I? Because whatever those mysterious things are, we'll face them. Oh, that's me. We'll face them. <laughs> Together. Oh, that was so sweet! And I got the true ending! Now I kind of don't want to go back and play it differently! Oh, I don't want to hurt him now! I'm gonna kind of... Thank you so much for playing the game! I really hope you enjoyed it. I apologize for any grammar mistakes or misspellings. I hope there are not too many. I made this in two weeks. <laughs> But please, if you want to point them out or contact me, let me know. Feel free to comment or shoot me an email. I also wanted to thank RenP and Lemma Soft Forums for inspiring me into making this game. Have a nice day. Oh, that's so nice. Hide again. Yes, I want to hide again. I don't want to be mean now because he's kind of cute. But I want to see how far this can go. Because I know it can get, I've heard it can get really creepy. Who are you? Get away from me. Am I that scary? Good. Who are you? I'm... Um... No one. I'm no one. Am I dead? You seem very alive to me. A nice smell. I really should go now. No, stay. Come. No. <laughs> oh, come. Oh, jeez. Was this spear? Did he have the meat on the end of his spear? I couldn't tell what it was sitting on. What do you want from me? Okay, so it kind of goes to the same place. Eat. Um, I'm not hungry. Eat. No. Eat! 
No! Are you just gonna kill me outright? Why not? Oh, I don't want to insult him! He's like a little kid! Because I won't do the bidding of a stupid, creepy creature. Tosses the meat to you anyway. Leave it there. You leave it there, not daring to pick it up. The soil soaks up the blood, turning purple around it. What did you say? <laughs> Hello? Okay, the silence is eerie, but the se creature seems willing to talk to me to a certain degree. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. We're going to be aggressive. What are you? Why did you bring me here? What do you want? Speak! Where are you from? That's not what I asked. Where are you from? It would be evasive. Somewhere you wouldn't know. Didn't like that very much. Soon it'll get dark and cold. Aren't you cold? Um, bear with it? You're ugly. Wow, so out of the blue. Um, have you seen yourself? <laughs> I feel so mean now, but, but we gotta be. We gotta see what the. as far opposite as we can. Oh, wait, neither have I. But not scary. There are scarier things out there. What are you doing? Okay, we've seen these. There's such a boss. Oh, you know what it makes me think of? Is it based off of this? No. It may okay. Um, there's someone I follow on uh, Tumblr called Fear is Nameless. And they have, like, that grin as their, as their profile picture. That grin with e eyes. It's, like, almost identical. I knew it felt familiar. Is he sharpening his spear? See. Okay. I kind of wish I could like save or not save, um, like get past like what am I saying? Skip ahead past the dialogue I've already done. Let's run away. Oops. Did you just kill me? I told you to sleep. That's creepy. Uh, is that it? <laughs> Ending four of nine. Okay, well that was really short, so let's try something else again. Okay, let's try sleeping. Even though I don't think we are this time. Dark came really fast, but there's no way I'm sleeping. It's probably waiting in the shadows. And then what? Kill me? Or eat me? Um... Alright, let's go in. Jeepers. What? What's going on? Creepy mind creatures are attacking me. I'm not staying here any longer. What? 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 What, what did I do wrong? Okay, I'm gonna save here. Okay, and we're gonna sleep? Wait, didn't I do this last time? Oh, that's right. I slept, but then I, I went by into the cave, so we're gonna stay here. Safest choice. No sense risking adventuring inside the dark cave. <laughs> what? What? What's going on? Are you just gonna kill me again? I'm not staying here any longer? Okay. Okay, well that wasn't very helpful. Um, okay, I guess I'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning, be nice, and then I don't wanna kill him, but we're gonna do that one more option. So here's the difference, because when I do it this way, I light the fire, and that means I have logs around me, so I grab a log and fight back, not the creature, but the, like, 
mind-bending creatures that attack me in the darkness. Or, not in the darkness, actually, but... Okay. He's gone. That wasn't him, anyways. So, pulls are still hot. Okay, we got fire back. And I enter the darkness. Oh, creepy face. Don't scare me. Passage. This should all be the exact same as the first time. Look around. There's nothing here. Turn around, and there he is. Don't want to hurt him. He's a little child, and he was drawing a picture of us. Oh. I don't want to, but I want to see what the ending is. I'm afraid he might jump at me, but he sleeps so soundly that it doesn't notice. No! I feel so bad now. Okay, okay, okay. I wish I hadn't done that. That was so bad. But now, like, what's the ending? Am I just going to die to the creatures? What a night. After the event, I barely managed to sleep. I think I should head outside now. It's almost morning. Um, let's check prov for provisions. Oh, I don't want to go back here. The iron in the air is nauseous and segwary. Er, sugary. I feel it's sticking inside my lungs. I rummage through the creature's things. There's nothing useful. But I'll take the spear. I then check the corpse to see if I missed something. There isn't much to scavenge. The sigh I head out once again to the cave. Guess I'll make do with what I have right now. Nothing. Just trying to remember. When did I crash here? Where is here? Most importantly, are there other survivors? Did that monster get to them first? At least now he won't threaten anybody else ever again, right? Come. Come into the light. Friend, <laughs> that was creepy. <laughs> so I saw someone on the actual page for the game say this was the ending they got the first time. So you just straight up killed the monster after being nice to him the first time. Although I guess you don't have to be nice to him. You could be super aggressive, but still light the fire, and then you would fight back the creatures that attack you. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure this just quits the game. I'm going to leave this here. There's a couple more endings that I didn't get. Um, and I might try them on my own, but I'm not going to play through them in the video. But thank you guys so much for joining me. This was such a cool novel, and I'm so glad. I love the first way I played it. Obviously, I didn't want to just leave it as the one playthrough, because I kind of wanted to see other options. Mostly, you just get killed. But anyways, thank you guys so much for joining me. I love you all. Stay amazing, and I'll see you guys next time.